everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Tina Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is gonna share with you all how easy it is to make delicious Asian pork chops. These pork chops right here, they are delicious. So easy to make, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, you make it Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my Asian pork chops before. You better make yourself. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is some nice fresh pork chops. So we have some gorgeous pork chops here that I have washed off with some apple cider vinegar, salt, and cold water. And then I've had it dry with the paper towel. You will need some fresh ginger. So we have some beautiful fresh ginger here. You're gonna need some green onions. You can use fresh garlic if you want, but for this recipe today, I'm gonna to use the powdered garlic. Right here, we have some brown sugar. You're gonna need some soy sauce and some oyster sauce and a couple of spices. So we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need this way. You will need some parsley flakes to make everything nice and beautiful. We're gonna use some paprika, that garlic powder, black pepper and salt, Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. So my journey of wearing braces is almost over. So what you're gonna see is you will see that I have the band in my mouth. And what the bands are gonna do is it's gonna help my bottom jawline align up perfectly with the top line. So now, if I feel like I can't talk with them, I'll take them out, but I'm gonna try to do every video. We'll see, we'll see about that. I'm gonna try to do every video with them on because the longer that I'm able to wear them, the quicker I'll get the braces off. It, so we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Once you see someone with the bands on, you're getting there. I couldn't be more excited for this here recipe. If you all love Asian food and you love pork chops, this is the recipe for you. Here's what we're gonna do. First thing we wanna do is let's season up these gorgeous pork chops. We're gonna go in with some sea salt. Use any kind of salt you like. Don't be afraid to season. Okay, beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna put some freshly cracked black pepper on there, just like so, and we're gonna let these bad boys marinate. And I'm gonna make a really quick and simple marinade that's kind of salty, kind of sweet. It has an umami factor, and when they taste it, they're gonna say, ooh, mommy. <laughs> they are so good and I can't wait to sink my teeth down into these pork chops. So we have salt and pepper and garlic powder and we are gonna season both sides, okay? Now, I've made these before and I've used the red dye but there's a lot of people that is allergic to the red dye number 40. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a little bit of color by using paprika. Make sure you don't use the smoked paprika, okay? More than anything, the paprika is just for color. It's not really going to give it much flavor because it's not a smoked paprika. I'm not a fan of the smoked paprika. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's we'll season the other side just like so, and they smell good already. Black pepper. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever heard of or tasted anything like this before. Let's go ahead and get us some more garlic powder, just like so. A Little bit of paprika. And when I come back, I'm gonna show you how to make this really quick and simple, yet so tasty marinade. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do while we let our meat set for a little while, because listen here, when you're cooking any kind of meats, it doesn't matter what kind of meat you have. You wanna let your meat kind of rest a little bit. You never wanna take it right out of the refrigerator and start to cook it because it's too cold. And when it's too cold, it kind of seizes up when it hits that hot pan and it'll turn out dry. We were not cooking any dried meats in this kitchen. So what you do is you kind of let it hang out on the counter for at least a half an hour. Let that chill come off of the meat. That way, when it hits that hot pan, it can be relaxed and it's gonna be nice and juicy. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the fresh ginger. And now when you are using ginger, 
in this recipe. You don't have to peel it. Don't worry about peeling the ginger for this recipe. You don't have to, okay? This ginger gives off amazing flavor. If you never had an Asian pork chop, you are in for a true treat. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and I love the smell. Oh, I love, oh, it smells so good. It smells like a buttery lemon. What we're gonna do, get the ginger right into our little uh, bowl here that we're gonna use to marinate our pork chops. And then I'm gonna chop up some green onions, green scallions, some of you may say, just like this on a bias. And I'm gonna use this whole bundle. Make sure you wash them off. I'm gonna throw them in with the ginger, just like so. Okay? Now, the next ingredient that we're gonna use is the salty. And the salty comes from the soy sauce. Get you some. Not gonna measure it, I'm just gonna get some in there, being honest. Just like so, enough to cover my pork chops. And then you need the oyster sauce. Oyster sauce gives you that umami factor. Does it taste like oysters? No, don't freak out. It does not taste like oysters, but it really does give you an amazing, really interesting taste. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit more just because. I'm not gonna measure it because you don't need to. You can't mess this recipe up. This recipe is foolproof. All right, so now that we have that mixed in, let's go ahead and add some sugar. Now I have a third cup, and we're gonna pack the brown sugar in and put that in so we have the salty, we have the sweet, we have the ginger, we have the onions, and together, this is beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful, especially when you put that meat in there and you let it marinate. So I know the next question will be, but Gina, how long am I gonna marinate it? Marinate it how long you want. If you don't have the time to marinate it all day, marinate it for half an hour like I'm gonna do. And guess what? It's still gonna be delicious. So now when I come back, we'll get our pork chops in here. I'm gonna show you all how to make these pork chops really quick and simple when I come back. So now we take our pork chops, we've let them rest for about a half an hour. We take, we take them and we're gonna put them into this marinade. Listen here, couldn't be more excited. Get them down in there, really nestle them, and then we're gonna cover them with, you know, some of the marinade. Now, some of you might like to, you know, put this into a Ziploc bag, and then it's much easier to kind of move the, the uh, marinade around but I don't mind doing this. This is fine with me. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna let it rest for a good half an hour, and then we're gonna cook these. Now, when you cook these, it's very important that you do not use a whole lot of oil. A whole lot of oil will cause these not to cook, out, cook up the right way. Because what we're looking for, we're looking to, to get somewhat of a charred color, you know, almost like you were to cook these on a grill. So we're looking for that brown sugar and that oyster sauce to caramelize on the outside of the pork chops, but using too much oil will prevent that. So take a peek in at my pan so I can show you just how much oil I have. Just a little tiny bit. That's all you're gonna need, okay? So we're gonna let it marinate, and like I said, if you have the time, let it marinate a little bit longer. Now there's one thing that I did when I was on pause. I um, took and put a little bit more paprika into my marinade so I can get a kind of like a red, reddish color to the pork chops. Be right back to show you what we'll do next. So now what you do next, after letting the pork chops marinate for however long you like, let's go ahead and make sure your pan is nice, nice, nice and hot. You want it to be hot because you wanna get a sear onto these pork chops. Anytime you put a sear onto a meat, it kinda locks in that moisture and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for nice, moist pork chops today. Okay, so now look, look, take a look, take a look, and it smells so good. Now. I'm not aiming to, look at that gorgeousness. I'm not aiming to put the green onions in because obviously the green onions will burn. But go ahead and sneak some of that ginger in there. It's gonna give you a great flavor and ginger can, ginger can fry forever. All right, come on. You wanna hear that sizzle? <laughs> Throw you a piece, couple pieces of that ginger in there. 
so we can have that flavor all throughout that pan. And you see once again that I'm using a little bit of oil. You don't need a whole lot. Okay, so we're going in for that second one, but you can see me taking off the green onions. You know, kind of let it drip a little bit. I hope you all are having an amazing day today, if I haven't said so. Oh, yes. And right now, I know, I know you wish you could smell it, because right now it smells delicious. That's because it is delicious. One more drip. Let it drip, drip, drip into the pan, medium-high heat, until you get a beautiful sear onto both sides. We're gonna cook both sides, and when I come back, we'll, we'll take a peek in at one side and see if it's done. And I'll actually let you know around about how long it's gonna take for your pork chops to get done. Now, remember I told you all we want that brown sugar and that oyster sauce to caramelize, almost like we were to cook this on the grill. So I see the gorgeous markings that I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and flip it over. <laughs> hey, girl, you something else in that kitchen. You hear me? I don't care what anybody else say about you. You are something. <laughs> oh, you something else in that kitchen. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I always do it every time I cook this. Take some of that marinade, pour it in. <laughs> cook the other side, let that marinade caramelize. We're gonna get a gorgeous color on the other side. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. Okay, everyone, so let's talk about something really quickly. Um, in the meantime, I wanna take a peek down at these gorgeous pork chops and tell you what we've did. So now what I've did was I made a second batch. Let's turn them over. Oh, 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 oh. hey, uh-huh, hey now. This is what they're supposed to look like. So let's talk about the first batch. The first batch, I had to run to the restroom. <laughs> so I run to the restroom, I come back, they're a little bit too dark for my liking, but it's okay because I have more. Now, what's gonna happen? If you don't stay right near the stove, stay right near them, they have the potential to get too dark because that brown sugar will quickly caramelize. So keep an eye on them. Don't run away from the stove. This is what they should look like. They are gorgeous. Ooh, they're done. They're beautiful on both sides. Look at this. Look at what we have here. Oh, and you bet they're juicy. Oh, yes, they're juicy. And they are so flavorful. When I come back, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. And you all are gonna get that first bite. Here's what we're gonna do. Take that gorgeous marinade. Oh, don't waste it. Don't waste it. Oh, don't waste it. Pour it on just like so. Be right back. And Prince and Polo want to say hi. We have Polo there on the left and we have Prince. His tail is moving a million miles an hour because I have a piece of cheese for him. They've been such good boys today. Say hi, guys. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer so you all can take a bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful meal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. All right, come on. We're coming this way. Oh, hey now. Oh, yes. I know. I know you want that part right there. You want a little bit of the fat. You want a little bit of the char. You want the sauce. And you want to see the inside of that pork chop, just how juicy it is. <laughs> well, I'm going to show you. Oh, baby. Uh-huh. Look at that. Oh, 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 yes. Let me give you a 360 if I can. Ooh, wee, you better make you some Gina Young style. 
Come on, let's do a little dippy dip, 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 dip in that sauce. Oh, yes. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching.